ladies and gentlemen, it's great. I see people all the way to the back of the hall. Thank you for coming. And all the way down this hall, thank you for coming. And to the people in front of me. Uh, it is absolutely humbling to, uh, to open this campaign office here in our city of Ottawa today and announce our Eastern Ontario campaign. But first, let me introduce a few people that are here because I think it speaks to the resurgence of the Progressive Conservative Party, not just in Eastern Ontario, but across this great province. And I'd first like to start by thanking Brian Coburn, probably one of the greatest gentlemen I've ever had the opportunity to work with in politics. Um, he, he was a, one, a, wonderful cam, a, a wonderful cabinet minister, and, and I appreciate you being here today uh, to support my candidacy and to bring in a new era in the Ontario PC Party. Thank you. Another of, Brian's Colber, uh, another of Brian Colberg's, um, Coburn's uh, ca uh, colleagues from the Harris and Eves uh, government is here as well. My dear friend Gary Guzzo, we like to call him the judge. Oh, yeah. Gary, thank you for endorsing my candidacy. Thank you for your sage advice and thank you for joining us. I want to say thanks to Steve Clark as well, uh, my house leader, as well as our campaign co-chair. He and John, Jim McDonnell have uh, helped solidify Eastern Ontario. It's great that they're here. Uh, there's a few other people that are very important to me. I came here, as you all know, with $200 in my pocket. I live just a little bit from here on uh, Elgin Street, staying on a friend's sofa. If you told me when I moved here that two former mayors of Ottawa and the former regional chair of Ottawa, Carleton, would be supporting my candidacy to become Premier of Ontario, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> but my dear friend Jacqueline Holtzman is here today to support me. Yay! My wonderful friend Andrew Hayden is here today. Yay! people here and and one of these ladies is someone that needs no introduction in this room particularly in Ottawa Centre because her sister was the only other woman to ever be elected in the city of Ottawa as a conservative uh, either federally or provincially and that is my dear friend Reed Hale before I move on I need to tell the story because Jacqueline and Greet are here I will never forget their support at the very early days of me becoming an MPP they decided early that I should run for the leadership in, or the uh, nomination into P.N. Carleton when all the odds were stacked against me. I was a 31-year-old brand new mother. But I gotta tell you something. The women in this city, the conservative women in this city, like Jacqueline Holtzman and Greed Hale, got behind me, they supported me, and they're here today, and I am truly honored. Thank you. of the United Counties of Leeds and Grenville, Dave Borden here today. Yay! And my dear friend, Tim Sutton, he is a city councillor in North Grenville, soon to be an annexation of Barhaven. <laughs> this is where I get myself into some trouble. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for me because we actually are going to announce all of the folks who are joining our campaign team here in Eastern Ontario. We have former candidates like Mike Patton who are here. Uh, we have former candidates like Trina Morissette who are going to co-chair this effort with Jim McDonnell. Uh, we are having uh, honorary co-chairs like our former leader Bob Runciman, our friend Greed Hale, and a number of other MPPs that serve formerly like Brian Colburn, Gary Guzzo, and of course our dear friend Norm Sterling. We are going to have a lot of fun and it starts right here in the great city of Ottawa we are going to go down the 416 and all the way down the 401 together and I'll do the heavy lifting guys I promise you that as Steve Clark mentioned I've been to a number of municipalities over the last little while I started the week in London then to Hamilton Cambridge to Peterborough to Toronto and here I am coming back home Yep. to the people that helped me launch my career and launch this campaign. The last decade have been painful for our party. We've had some good days, but we've had a heck of a lot more that have been bad. We've lost the trust of the people of the province. Long gone are the days that people like Brian Colburn and Gary Guzzo ran this province. Long gone are the days of prosperity for our province. 
and for the people who live here. And long gone are the days of glory for our party. A lot has gone wrong, and I understand that. I've seen it. A great piece of advice I actually received from Norm Sterling when I won a by-election in 2006 was this. He said, Lisa, winning is great, but winning when your party doesn't win is very hard. Norm was with me on election night on June 12th, 2015. It was the toughest night for 2014. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> well, June 12th. We all forgot it anyway. June 12th, we're having a party because I'll be leader. In <laughs> June 12th, um, 2014 was tough. And, and Norm was by my side. And uh, it was everything I could do to not want to go underneath my bed for six months and cry. I know you all felt that. I know you're all members of this party and you want a reason to be proud again. And I'm the one that's going to bring pride back to the Ontario PC party. I'm the one that's going to restore confidence in our membership. And I'm the one that's going to earn the trust of the voters to bring them back home to the Ontario Progressive Conservative Party. Last night, bring it home. candidate to have a sleepover of nine-year-olds in my house. <laughs> and I had a few of the mothers and fathers join me as the kids were playing. And I got talking politics with them. You see, a lot of those parents that go to my daughter's school and to other in, in cities across this province and in suburbs and places, places we need to, to win, they actually think they're liberals. <laughs> they actually think that the default position for them and the good guys are the liberals. They don't like the $1.2 billion gas plant scandal. They're kind of fed up that this is a government not under one, not under two, but under three OPP investigations. They're not happy with the situation in our health care and our education system. They certainly don't want to pay more taxes. So I ask them this. Do you believe in living within your means while helping those who can't help themselves? They say yes. I say great. You're a progressive conservative. <laughs> I asked them the next question. Do you believe in the rule of law, protecting children, policies for strong families? They nod their heads and they say yes. I say great. You're a progressive conservative. And then we talk about how we live our lives and I ask them, do you believe in a strong economy that can fuel a sustainable health care and education system? They say yes. I say, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got news for you? You're three for three because you're a progressive conservative. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have not connected with the public on that level since Mike Harris in 1999. <coughs> we have not connected with the public in a way like that, with the simple, crisp message of who we actually are, in almost 20 years. We need to change that. We need those voters to come back home. And I'm the girl to do it. I can do it. You and I can do it. We can bring them back home. We can have them believe in the message again. And we can work hard to restore pride in our party and finally win a long coveted election. So I've got an ask for all of you. I'm going to do my part. I want to make all of you proud. I'm going to make all the phone calls that Richard Frum tells me to make. <laughs> I'm going to speak to every media outlet that Mike Patton tells me to speak to. I'm going to shake people down like David Small says I must. <laughs> and, well, as for Larry Malloy, I'm just going to do whatever he tells me to do. <laughs> I'd rethink that one. Yes. <laughs> but we've got a strong team here in Eastern Ontario, and we're going to unveil it in a second. And I'm going to do what I have to do, but I need every person in this room to help me out. This won't win itself. 
and everybody wants to have their pot, piece of the pie from Eastern Ontario. So I'd ask each one of you today when you leave here to ask five people you know to become members of our Progressive Conservative Party. Before you leave here today, I want you to meet with one of our volunteer coordinators. We've got Heather here, we've got, I think I see Carol somewhere. I want you to join with them and help me out. This is going to be a big race and I want Eastern Ontario and Ottawa to be on the map on the day this leadership is over. We tried it once before with an Ottawa Premier and this time we'll get it right. <laughs> I'm a conservative. We are not going to spend outside of our means on this campaign. And I don't have friends that can write me $100,000 checks or lend me their private jet. But I will make you proud and we will use our resources <coughs> wisely. I'm the soccer mom from Nepean. I drive a minivan. And I'm going to make sure that the issues that are, I hold dear and that you hold dear are the ones that we espouse. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We're going to do this. And I want you to know that if you support me, you will always have my support as leader of the Ontario PC Party and Premier of Ontario. Thank you. join me as well as as greet and Gary and Brian and I don't know where Gary went okay come on over and I want to unveil our team and I'm going to read out who we've got because this is a fantastic team but don't rush okay right <laughs> Steve do you want to come over here too yeah. Mayor Gordon? Gary. Tim? We're going to unveil this. Andy Wang? Uh, Rachel Song? We won't get it. The power will go out and shred I want you between me and Aiden. You never want to get too close to me. You know? Yeah. He's never comfortable with the social oh, yeah. credit. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Sir, come back home. Yeah. 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 So our honorary chairs are the honorable senator and former leader of our party, Bob Renseman, Norm Sterling, former MPP and cabinet minister, Brian Colburn, former MPP and cabinet minister, Gary Guzzo, former MPP, and Greet Hale. So we've got our Eastern Ontario supporters, MP Gordon O'Connor, Dr. Bill Tupper, former MPP Nepean Carlton, MPP Steve Clark, Leeds and Grenville, Captain Holtzman, former Mayor of Ottawa, Audrey Green, former Mayor of Renfrew, Larry O'Brien, former Mayor of Ottawa. Yay! I thought you'd all like that one. Chris Thompson, former candidate, Ottawa Centre. Jan Harder, Ottawa City Councillor. Big, yay! Big yay. Right. Scott Moffat, Ottawa City Councillor. George DeRuz, Ottawa City Councillor. Eli El Shantiri, Ottawa City Councillor. Tim Sutton, City of North Grenville Councillor. Jay Brennan, City of Smith Falls Councillor. Doug Thompson, former Ottawa City Councillor. Maria McRae, former Ottawa City Councillor. Former Ottawa City Councillor yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Hume, Ottawa City Councillor. Oh, oh, oh. Andrew Hayden. Yeah. 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 And don't forget it, Chairman. Chairman. Yeah, yeah. David Small, former candidate, Ottawa Centre. All right. Yeah. Mike Cotton, former candidate, Ottawa West Nepean. Yeah. 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 Lawn, school board trustee and former candidate, Stormont Dundas, South Glengarry. Roger James, former candidate Kingston. Ray Costit, <coughs> former candidate <coughs> Ottawa Centre. Yeah. Fred Sherman, former candidate Ottawa Vanier. Brian McGarry, former candidate Ottawa Centre. John Shea, former Ottawa Carleton District uh, School Board Trustee. And Norm McDonald, former Ottawa Carleton District School Board Trustee. Yeah, yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need you to join our growing list.
list of supporters by signing this poster. Thank you all very much. Okay.